Hi, this is Abdel Liban. The lesson that I'm going to give you tonight is a story that I named a marvelous child. It was a memorable Saturday afternoon. I made up my mind to stay in a country that situated in the spare part of Albert Town, which is the honorable place I was born and prepared. It was my first time to go there, and I stayed in fourth night. The place was prosperous, and all the pools, wells, and ponds were filled with clean water. When I went to the valley, I saw a fascinating, serene place with glamorous green trees. I could only hear the sweet sounds of pearls and other animals, because it was a tranquil place with beautiful sight where no one else stayed. Gorgeous pearls with assorted colors were chirping. Ramping llamas were pleading behind me. Numerous camels were granted at the punk of the folly. Because we were oinking in the charming gardens near the fail. These gardens were plus with graceful green fruits and vegetables, including onion, garlic, cardamom, parsley, turmeric, chinchar, lemon, watermelon, potato, tomato, mango, orange, and date. Foxes were also simpering in the scary push behind me. Hayfarys, calfies, and colts were gambling, horses near in their stable, donkeys prayed, and dogs parked in the, in the candle. Gorgeous hair is cackling in the fascinating tail. Chicks were cheeping on the green, glamorous trees. Innumerable flies were passing due to the prosperity. Deer pelt in the grass. Duffy's coat, Pichon's coat, and peacocks screamed. Eagles screamed while they were eating carafar. Duckies tove in the ponds while they were quacking. A lot of monkeys peeling the rind from ranches were chibbering beside me. Yews and rams peeling behind the mountain. Cat, as well as its kernels, was burning at the bottom of the, of the valley. Oxen is below in the farmies. Elegant women with beautiful attire were whistling in a wedding party. Cheerful children were also playing hide and seek. Some of them were eating honey and raisin. Gab toast, tartar, tamsins with graceful scarce were also eating bread with powder. The sun sets some hours later. Unexpected rain drizzled from the beautiful cloudy sky. I suddenly heard Highness laughing. My granny told me that they were ambushing our cattle. In the evening, my grandmother gave me a pile of sorghum and sour. She powdered we, cured, and powder on that delicious pile. While we were tying, a mare fouled. I was going to see the mare fouling. Unfortunately, I couldn't see it, because the place was gloomy. I was awake all the night because my grandmother had been snoring all the night. Crickets had been creaking, and mosquitoes had been whining. Bats had also been screeching from tusk to town. Crowing rooster raced us at dawn. I stumbled calf pulled. I realized that 14 calves of ours were eaten by the hyenas. Next morning, I went to the farms. The farms were prosperous. Sorghum, maize, and pearl were half harvested from the farms. I saw a lot of men thrashing the graves with pistols to separate crops from the chaff. Those talented men were chanting touch, folk, or traditional songs while they were doing their chaves, and none of them exhausted. Eventually, I was exhilarated by that glitzam, by that polite, some beautiful and prosperous countryside. I could not take my eyes for, off from that place, because I was luxuriating with the fresh, aromatic breeze hovering everywhere of my spare place. Finally, that two weeks trip all altered a lot of my life experience and left a marvelous memory in my heart. And that is all about the history. I named it a marvelous charm. And then you gotta take it to consideration that we learned it a different lesson is from this history. Yeah, for example, you learned some words with silent letters, and then I think that you gotta bear in mind, or you gotta take it to consideration, or we or we gotta ask ourselves. Well, a silent letter is a silent letter is a word. A silent letter is a letter that 